Hi everyone, it's Adam from Amplay Man, so glad you can join me for another video. Today we're going to be making, I think, a rounded bouquet. We'll just see what happens, but um, it'll be sort of in the medium to large size. So let's get under the way. So we'll be using eucalyptus, pretty much use it for everything. <laughs> so. Silvery just brings out all the colours. We've got some lovely spray roses. So I've just got everything laid out. So it should be semi quick bouquet. <laughs> lovely stock in there. I don't know, lilac y purple. Got some gorgeous roses. Gonna add a little bit more greenery, and then we're just pretty much just doing the spiral technique. Yeah, it's gonna add one more spray just through there. Got some irises. A little bit of hidden colour. Some paper whites. So I'm not too worried about the height. We just don't want to stick anything too low. It's probably better to stick everything a bit taller. You can always adjust it a bit later. Some jungles paired with the irises, yellow and blue contrasting colours be really lovely, nice and bright. So before it gets a bit too thick, I'm just gonna add a few softer things. So I'm gonna add frasures and I'm gonna add some lovely tulips. Just because if the bouquet gets a bit too heavy, they tend to be the ones that snap first. <laughs> and we want to avoid that at all costs and keep it nice and fragrant and fresh. So we don't really want to damage any stems. As we're just putting the bouquet together. It's very fragrant at the moment, very strong. Frasers, paper whites, jonquils. Uh, we'll be adding lilies as well, just for a little bit of extra scent. Add a few more eucalyptus. So I'd have one more tulip. <laughs> Guess not. There's a lovely carnation spray rose. So I'm going to do that and then just prop up the flowers on the side. Add a chrysanthemum. So now we're going to add, we've got all our small flowers, now we're going to add a few bigger flowers. Just bulk it out. Got some lovely oriental lilies. Let's remove away a little bit. So now all the flowers are in the, in the middle. Then we can push up the sides a bit more. We'll get really nice rounded shape. Lovely matricaria. So as we've got our main focal part, we're just going to fill it out, just with the bigger flowers. 
We're going to be a bit more messy now. Add a bit more variety. Don't have to really worry about structure too much. It sort of all comes together. don't want anything to look like eyes. <laughs> if you put it like another one right here and there, it can look like eyes, but if they're separated enough. So usually a trick of mine, if I'm struggling to hold something, I'll use an orient or something large, just to prop it, then fingers can lean on the bottom here, make it a bit more easier. So usually when it starts to get a bit large, I'm just going to sort of group things in a tidy fashion. And I've saved a little bit of eucalyptus. Which will sort of, so I sort of place it in the spiral and then we we'll use the eucalyptus. And I'll just hold everything off. So now I've still got my fingers in the same spot. So I'm just looking for the last oriental. I think that'll look really nice. Like that. So now for the last bit, sort of lean it, it's just going to be big for my hands. I'll be able to sort of place everything in a spiral. Almost there. Headphones are about to fall out. <laughs> The last paper white. Just need to get one more twist in. Last rose. Just place it like that. And I'm sort of going to balance. Grab the string with one hand. I'm just going to tie it up. As sort of loose and tight as possible. It's pretty good. Just gonna push a few things up as I've slipped a bit. Yeah, chop off any of the huge stems that are left. So finish that off. Just so they're all in the same height. They are still pretty long, so we can adjust things if we need be. Usually it would just be things being pulled down. So there's sort of outside. There's a lovely spiral. 
very fragrant. It's got lovely tulips. A little bit of everything. Nice and bright. A bit garden like. So I'm going to keep it, it's for tomorrow, so I'm going to keep it in water overnight. So I'm just going to rub the top so there's less work to do tomorrow. And just because I get a bit excited, I just want to see what it looks like when it's all wrapped. So I'm just going to go with white paper. I like to make little mountains. This is a very simple, very easy way, very effective way. And so if you're just learning how to wrap, this has never let me down. It always takes a while to find your sort of wrapping style. I just love this shiny stuff at the moment. When appropriate, I use it pretty much everything. I just stick it low because it's a bit flimsy. Cool. One, two. Try so only use enough sticky tape as you need. Don't need to go nuts. Yeah, you know, it looks pretty good. And just a big squeeze at the end. So let's quickly have a look before we put it away. There's that one there. So it is quite big. So I hope you enjoyed just a quick demonstration, some ideas, some inspiration of a very large spiral bouquet, got some tulips, orientals all to open up, so sort of, and it'll look really nice in a vase, just with little pops of colours, it's very subtle but the smell is very fragrant, and you know, a little bit different.